Welcome to Enter the Unknown. My name is FJ, and today I'm going to be testing out a brand new kind of challenge. If you watch the White 2 Nuzlocke, then you've already heard about how the first attempt at starting this series went a bit wrong. Basically, we're checking to see if the first six Pokemon seen in a random episode of the anime can take on the hardest battle in a given game. For this battle, we won't get any items, nothing to use or to hold, and the style will be on set rather than shift. What that essentially means is once our opponent's Pokemon are defeated, we don't get the opportunity to switch. We're also going to match levels exactly to make things as even as possible. Now that you're all clued in, let's get on to today's battle. I don't currently have the capability to record past 5th gen, so I set a random number generator to give me a number between 1 and 799. 1 being the first episode of the anime, and 799 being the final episode of the Best Wishes series. It came up with 641, which a quick Google search told me was the 175th episode of the Diamond and Pearl series. Opposites interact. Or, to give it its original Japanese name, Mamu Pachirisu Decide on the Ice Chandelier. Frankly, a much better name. I loaded up the episode, and in the first 11 seconds, we've got our team. Right away, we see Gastrodon and Luminion, then Altaria, then Flareon, then Vaporeon, and finally Yanmega. This all happens basically immediately. Those six certainly make for an interesting selection. I can't imagine there are many episodes where Pikachu doesn't show up as one of the first six, so this will be something different. Anyway, we've got an interesting team to work with, and it only makes sense to use Platinum and do the rematch with Cynthia. So can our team take down the best trainer in Pokemon Platinum? Well, before we get there, let's assemble our team. We start off in Heart Home City, where Bebe gifts us an Eevee. As we need Flareon and Vaporeon, it needs to be female so we can breed a second bushy-tailed buddy. In Salacion Town, we do just that, and once we hatch our second Eevee, we're ready to evolve our first two team members. We grabbed a Firestone in Fuego Ironworks and a Waterstone on Route 213, and evolved our two Eevees into Flareon and Vaporeon. Okay, that's two down. Let's get working on the other four. At Valley Windworks, we catch a Shellos, and then head just a few paces west to Route 205 to fish up a Finneon. We add her to the party, meaning we're just a couple of evolutions away from being two-thirds done with our team. In the foggy depths of Route 210, we add a Swablu to our lineup, leaving just one slot open. To find Yanma in Platinum, we have to visit the Sinnoh region's Safari Zone equivalent, the Great Marsh. Yanma are pretty hard to find, and very hard to catch, so this was a bit of a nightmare. After several failed attempts, we finally get our hands on the speedy dragonfly. With that, we have all of the Pokemon required and just need to do a bit of leveling. First up on the evolution line is Shellos. Once he reaches level 30, we're rewarded with a brand new Gastrodon. Upon reaching 31, Vineon becomes Luminion. At level 33, Yanma learns Ancient Power and evolves into Yanmega. Finally, Swablu reaches level 35, evolves into Altaria, and we're done. Now we just need to level everyone up and reach Cynthia. I won't make you sit through all that as it's gonna take a while, so let's skip ahead. After lots of grinding and quite a bit of story, we've made it to the rematch with Cynthia. For this battle, the Sinnoh champion has three level 74s, two level 76s, and a level 78, so we've matched that. Here's what our team is looking like. As I mentioned earlier, the battle style is on set, we've got no hold items and won't use any items in battle. I just want you to imagine a classic 6 on 6 Pokemon League battle. Just imagine I beat Ash in the semi-final because he sent in Torterra against Yanmega, Infernape against Vaporeon, and Pikachu against Gastrodon. That seems like something he'd do. Okay, let's get this championship match underway. Cynthia leads off with her level 74 Spiritomb, and we start with Altaria. Spiritomb's moveset is made up of Dark Pulse, Psychic, Silver Wind, and Ominous Wind, and its ability is Pressure. As a Ghost Dark type, Spiritomb has no weaknesses in this generation, so my plan was just to use Sing and Dragon Dance to power up Altaria as much as possible. Our first Sing connects, and we boost our attack and speed twice before Spiritomb wakes up and hits a Dark Pulse. It only chips away around a quarter of Altaria's health before he puts the Ghost in a Rock back to sleep. This was a real stroke of luck, as the odds of hitting Sing twice in a row is only about 3 in 10. After getting off 3 more Dragon Dances, we go for Sky Attack. Unfortunately, Spiritomb gets off a second Dark Pulse before Altaria can complete the move and obliterate her in one. Still, we've made it past Cynthia's first Pokémon, and we're in good shape. 
Next up is Garchomp, and as the battle style is set, we're sticking with Altaria. Whoever we switched in would have had to take a Dragon Rush from Garchomp, so it's definitely safer to stay in. It was a tough choice, but I decided to ride my luck and use Sing again. The odds of hitting three in a row is about one in six, and if we went for Dragon Pulse, we were guaranteed decent damage. If we'd gone for that though, there's no way we would have lived through the first turn. Fortunately, Altaria's got his contacts in and connects again. Two Dragon Pulses later, Cynthia breaks the rules we set out by using a full restore on the dragon. In fact, she cheated twice by giving her Garchomp a Citrus Berry as well. All of her cheating comes to nothing though, as Altaria lands a crit Dragon Pulse and takes out Cynthia's ace without taking a hit. Lucario comes out next, but Altaria's still good to go, so we're not going to switch out. You know the plan. Altaria's got a great voice and we want to hear it again. Somehow, Sing finds its target again, but this time it makes no difference. Lucario immediately wakes up. The level 76 Fighting Steel type goes for the super effective Dragon Pulse, but somehow Altaria survives on 3 HP. One Sky Attack bodies Lucario, and somehow Altaria's taken down half of Cynthia's team. Her level 74 Milotic is out fourth, and finally Sing misses its mark. One Surf takes out the last of Altaria's three hit points, and you're finally going to see another member of our team. Luckily for us, we have the perfect counter for Cynthia's Milotic, Vaporeon. This is going to take a long time, so I may as well explain. Milotic's four moves are Surf, Ice Beam, Mirror Coat, and Aqua Ring. Our Vaporeon has the ability Water Absorb, so Surf can't touch us. By only attacking with Bite, Milotic can't make use of Mirror Coat, leaving it with just Ice Beam in the way of attacks. It barely does more damage than our Aqua Ring restores, so there's basically no way for Milotic to win. Unfortunately, Cynthia was determined to see this battle from every angle and used a full restore before Milotic went down. This took so long. Eventually though, Vaporeon triumphs at full health and takes the Sinnoh champion down to her final two Pokemon. Roserade is up first. Now it's time to take advantage of a switch in. With Vaporeon out front, it only makes sense for Roserade to use a grass type move. Yanmega is four times resistant to grass and easily soaks up the energy ball upon switching in. Yanmega's Psychic isn't quite enough to one-shot Roserade, so Sludge Bomb lands and poisons him. Air Slash finishes off Cynthia's penultimate Pokemon, but Yanmega falls to poison. Still, we're in great shape with just Togekiss remaining. I wanted to use all six Pokemon in this battle, and I'm sticking to that, so let's start off with Luminion. After taking an Air Slash, we land Toxic and then immediately switch to Flareon. She also takes an Air Slash, and predicting a Water Pulse next, we go right into Gastrodon. Our whole team has now made an appearance, so we go for Surf, and Gastrodon ends the battle in style with a critical hit. Cynthia is defeated, the first six Pokemon from Mamu, Pachirisu, Decide on the Ice Chandelier are officially inducted into the Hall of Fame. And that does it for this episode. Is this something you'd like to see more of? I think we got a little lucky with the episode today, but it was still a tough battle. I'd like to test this out against different trainers and other games with a variety of teams, but that all comes down to you. If you're interested in seeing more, then just leave a like or a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.